chemistry and radiochemistry are used in chemical reaction mechanisms in order to predict the product or products of a chemical reaction. Regiochemistry is the preference of one direction of chemical bond making or breaking over all other possible directions. Stereochemistry is a branch of chemistry concerned with the 3D arrangement of atoms and molecules and the effect of this on chemical reactions. For regiochemistry, we are not aware of the spatial arrangement, but for stereochemistry, we are aware. We must use the back and the front of the atom to display where different atoms on a molecule are. Let's dive deeper into regiochemistry. General examples of where regiochemistry can be observed are in Zayatsev versus Hoffman elimination, Markovnikov versus anti-Markovnikov addition, ortho versus para meta substitution, and others that we will learn about later. In Zayatsev versus Hoffman elimination, we determine which product will be favored in a reaction by which product is more or less substituted. The Zayatsev product is more substituted, and in this case, is more stable than the less substituted Hoffman product. In this situation, the Zayatsev product is more hindered by sterics than the Hoffman product, so it is favored over the Zayatsev. Another example of how regiochemistry is used in chemical reaction mechanisms is the Markovnikov versus anti-Markovnikov addition rules. The Markovnikov rule states when an isometrical alkene reacts with a hydrogen halide to give an alkyl halide, the hydrogen adds to the carbon of the alkene that has the greater number of hydrogen substituents and the hydrogen to the carbon of the alkene with the fewer number of hydrogen substituents. Here I have a hydrobromide and an alkene, and I'm going to demonstrate how the Markovnikov rule is used. The proton adds first to the carbon-carbon double bond, and the bond breaks and forms a bromine. Then, the carbon bearing more substituents forms a stable carbonium ion or carbocation. So here we have two R's, which means we have more substituents than we did because we have one R and two hydrogens. And the negative halide attacks the positive carbocation and adds to more the more substituted side with two R's. And that is the Markovnikov rule. In an anti-Markovnikov addition mechanism for a radical reaction of alkene with HBr, we see an electrophile bromine radical add to the alkene to generate a secondary radical. The radical abstracts a hydrogen atom from another molecule of HBr, creating the alkyl bromide in another bromine radical. The final product is anti-Markovnikov because there are two substituents bonded on this side with a hydrogen, while the bromine was added to the side with the least amount of substituents. Now that we've covered some examples of regiochemistry, we should go on to stereochemistry. There are two different types of designations we can do for stereochemistry. Um, stereoisomers of alkenes, there are two types, cis and trans. Cis means same side, so our substituents or the outside is on both of the same side. And then on trans, it's on the opposite side, so this one's pointing um, it is determined by a steric hindrance, so we would always want the more stable arrangement. E and Z de designations are different. We are looking at the substituents in order of importance. Um, F and NH2 are the most important substituents because they have the most weight, molecular weight, so it is on the same side or together. 
on this one, F and NH2 are on opposite sides, so it is E formation because the substituents that are most important are on opposite sides. The last topic we have on stereochemistry is examples of stereospecific reaction mechanisms. There is a syn addition and an anti addition. Uh, many of the stereospecific reaction mechanisms can happen in either syn or anti or both. In a syn addition, the product is on the same side, so with the wedges, we know that it's on the same side. It could be also with dashes, which is pointing away, but as long as they are on the same side or added on the same side, then it is a sin addition. For an anti-addition, the product has the reagents added on opposite sides. So because it has a dash and a wedge, that means this is pointing toward this, this is pointing away, and that is the opposite. And for it's the same over here. This is a dash and this is a wedge. It doesn't matter which side it's on as long as they're pointing opposite ways. It is an anti-addition.